Um, hey, me, Callie Carroll. Good morning, sunshine. Morning, sunshine. Good morning, sunshine. Oh, good morning, sunshine. Daily dose of protective. Good morning, sweet baby sunshines. Good morning, sunshines. Let's get started. Okay, y'all remember um, when I was talking about the in-body scale the other day at the gym? Don't worry. I didn't yell at any trainer. I, I checked my perspective on that one. But today, I did go to use a different machine. And when I went to use it, it wasn't working at all. Like the body fat percentage was like whoop to 100% right away. I, I know that I can't work out that much, but I also know that I'm not 100% body fat right now. So anyways, the trainer's like, uh, yeah, how's that working for you? I was like, this was not working very much. Hey, he's like, we use the other one. I'm like, well, I think it's offline. He's like, yeah, they kind of all are, but you can scan a code to enter your numbers. Anyways, long story short, I did my numbers today. Um, and this is where it tests your, like everything, like your, your cellular water, your intracellular water, are those two different things? I'm not really sure. Your muscle mask on your arms versus your legs versus your trunk, uh, your body fat, um, your, just your like general health. And I had wanted these stats because after injuring my shoulder, I wanted to see if I was like how my muscle mass was improving or not so much um, upon doing my physical therapy. So he taught me like, if you just print it out and you scan it, then you can get those results. Great, I said, I went over, I redid my numbers uh, and scanned my results. The results are in, uh, according to the in body, I am out of the shape. I was in the shape, I'm out of the shape. You know what, we're all a shape, we're just different shapes. I'm a different shape right now. Anywho, I wanted to share about this because I got like my like immediate reaction was a little bit of frustration, let's just say. And I'm not comparing myself to other people. I'm comparing myself to myself, which is the best way to grow and improve, right? So I was like, I just wanted to see where I was at. Now, by since the machine's been offline so long, I can't look at my stats and like since pre my injury. So I'm looking at now versus two and a half months ago, pre my injury. <laughs> and apparently when you don't work out for a couple months, um, and you can't use your arm. Sometimes the stats go the wrong direction. So as I'm looking at it, right. And I'm comparing my two months, like pre-injury to now, I was just like, wah, 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 a little bit disappointed in not myself, I guess, but just like disappointed. Like, well, that's not, that's not really ideal. Like this muscle mass is going down, fat mass is going up, muscle mass is going down, fat mass, like pretty much everywhere. That's the resounding effect. Um, and then I had to stop and remember my four agreements. And when we talk to ourselves, uh, maybe with less than love, but more with criticism, even when we're in a time of trying to improve something, speaking to ourselves in our four agreements in all of life is really important. And if you haven't watched all about the four agreements, I suggest you either grab the book or go back and listen to those different uh, messages. But the, the fourth agreement is about doing your best. Always do your best. So as I'm looking at these numbers and I'm a little bit whatever about them, I was like, hey, Cal, how, how about you practice your four agreements with yourself? This is how I talk to myself. Like I literally have to like coach myself through different things. You're disappointed right now. How about let's just let's just have a chatty chat with ourselves about the fourth agreement. The fourth agreement states that you want to always do your best, not somebody else's best, which obviously I can't do in this case. Like it's my own injury. It's my own, like where I'm at, right? Like, look, I can't even like flex this arm. It's just weird. Um, and it's also about being your best in the different chapters and phases of your life. And there are some times where your personal best isn't going to be at the same level as a different time in your life because there are circumstances creating what's you know happening in your world um whether it's like forcefully creating or you're choosing to embrace and this in this example you know i i literally can't use that arm so the muscle mass there is going to go down so i had to like really check myself and like the in body scan the in body scale it's not my effing boss it's not like, you're not the boss of me scale. Those numbers that I saw do not jurisdict my attitude for the rest of the day or the way that I treat or love or don't love my body. Those are just numbers and stats so that I can see how my, how my body improves as I start to heal when I start to heal. So maybe right now, just don't do the numbers. Maybe right now while you're in this phase, like you just don't do the numbers. Are you, are you happy? And are you confident? Do you feel like you're doing the things that you need to do to care of your body? Yes. I'm doing my physical therapy. I'm doing my, um, what is that called? We like your arm, whatever. Um, I'm doing my icing. I'm doing all the things that I need to be doing to heal. 
So giving myself grace and love because my best right now is different than my best was then. And it's different than my best is going to be in the future. As long as I know I'm showing up for me, that's the final piece of today's message. That doesn't mean you give up on yourself. Just because you have a chapter that's going on, you, you figure out what your best is during that chapter and what you can handle during my chemo chapter. Like I, I didn't really work out for two years. I can count on the, my two hands, how many times I worked out in the two years. And that was my best at the time. That was my priority. That's the choice that I made. And I'm perfect with that. Knowing that you're the one who's making those choices. So today's reminder is regardless of what we're talking about in your life, remember, acknowledge that your best is your best in this chapter, not last chapter, not the future chapter, not to compare to others, but to compare to yourself in this time, if you want, and then to just give yourself grace for whatever chapter you're going through. Guys, that's all I have today's daily dose of perspective with Callie Carroll. Trash can going by. You're welcome for that sound. It's great. I, I recorded in a parking lot so I can be away from my children who scream at me otherwise. I love them dearly. But anyways, don't forget the perspective reveals miracles. I love y'all. Talk to you soon. Bye. Thanks for joining and don't forget to subscribe and of course, share with your friends. Guys, that's how we impact more lives. All right, see you next time.